Okay, so there's news this morning on that doomed Chinese satellite seen here being launched back in 2011. It's, it's been capturing the world's attention. Well, it is hurtling towards Earth as we speak for a crash landing, but no one knows just where or when. ABC's Whit Johnson joins us from Los Angeles this morning. And Whit, this space station, it is as big as a bus. No wonder people are slightly on edge this morning. Paul and Dan, exactly as big as a bus, about 19,000 pounds. And we could, Paul and Dan, be looking at a possible April Fool's delay. The window of reentry shifting later and later, possibly into tomorrow morning. So many different complicated variables making it unclear whether parts of this Chinese space station will strike Earth. This morning, new simulation video of the fiery finale. Tiangong-1, China's first space station puncturing Earth's atmosphere. Most of it breaking apart, flaming debris streaking across the sky. Somewhere between uh, 10 to 40 percent of it will survive the entry, and those pieces will be of probably various sizes. Likely to be a spectacular view if the conditions are right, but exactly where and when, impossible to predict. The unknown Chinese components only adding to the mystery. Debris could land over parts of the U.S., stretching from Northern California to New York. Most of it won't, won't cause any problems at all or no hazard at all to us because most of it will just burn up in the atmosphere. Still in Michigan, Governor Rick Snyder has activated the state's emergency operations center to monitor the space station's re-entry. The control room on high alert, tracking the station's every move. If you believe that a piece of debris is there, we ask that you just stay away, call 911 and let the professionals handle it. And with 71% of the Earth covered in water, scientists say the odds of getting hit by falling space junk, one in a trillion. Space junk falls from the sky just about every day. What's unique about this space station? Debris from outer space. Thousands of tons hit the Earth every night, every day, all the time. But this thing's eight and a half tons. And it's cylindrical. The solar panels are going to go like this or like this. And so there's a lot of unknowns. Now, the latest prediction from American scientists puts a re-entry window of about 14 hours around 10 p.m. Eastern tonight. Now, that could definitely change. And if it puts your minds at ease a little bit, only one person on record has ever been struck by a piece of space junk. That was back in 1997. And Dan and Paula, she was not hurt. No, she's just fine. If I, if I recall correctly, it kind of hit her on the shoulder. Um, yeah. Doesn't it make me like feel any better, It was like a feathery thing. It brushed off her shoulder. Mm -hmm. I know you were trying to make us feel better. You can still take cover if you need to. I'm going to just duck. That's my plan. You better worry more about the lightning, Paula. Uh, Whit, thank you very <laughs> Thanks, much. Matt. Appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.